the screen. <laughs> What's that? I'm trying to like make that relate back to the Waidu thing. That's Waidu like running off with his me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, we got um just raft <laughs> against Mr. Pink. Oh my gosh. Uh, actually, hold on. So we got. Let me. Un oh, I guess say? we gotta flip the players yeah, and the names. Slow. Yeah. Oh. That didn't work. There we go. <laughs> yes, it did. Hey, we got it. Okay. All right, we got it. We got it. Let's go. There's, there's Raph, one of our fellow commentators. You'll be hearing from him later tonight on Top Eight. Absolutely. Versus Mr. Can. Pink, the guy that I always think is me, because it's Mr. P. Mr. P. Yeah. I see Mr. I see P. I think it's Mr. Patch. Not quite. Yeah, you gotta get that uh, eighth grade reading comprehension a little. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when people were talking about like hero menu. I'm like, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm. I'm. I'm still pretty on on. Uh, you're on the banning on, on that. side of things? Kinda. I mean, okay. I don't know about banning, but I definitely understand the uh, the issue. You also just hate playing against hero. Love watching it, though. Love watching Ooh, it. And Rav with the great up out of shield there on the ledge, catching that get, uh, get up attack. I have been noticing Rav, um being, like, having very good selection of yeah. the of the up B um, lately. Yeah, next save. Um... Yeah, uh, he's had a great option select in general, just with Captain Falcon, which is yeah. a character that has, like, the tools necessary, right, to uh, take advantage of any given situation, but he's using the character to its fullest, almost. Like, uses yeah. all of the tools. I see him use down tilt, up tilt, forward tilt, uh, up B, side B. Like, you see every move in this character's arsenal be used to, uh, like, really good extent by Raph. And at the same time, he he still thinks Falcon's trash. Falcon is trash. <laughs> He's right. She is. But here he is still, you know, working it out. You know, it. I'm always inspired when people just decide. Even all the way up to a character or a player like Glutiny. Yeah. Of just deciding, you know what? This is. My there are weaknesses to my character. There are awful matchups. I'm just gonna figure it out. Like this is my sole character. Yeah. Not gonna question it. Ooh, that down air was really scary there, but Raph did a good job of weaving out and making that recovery. Mr. Pink here doing a good job of slowly bringing this bat, but Raph yeah. is also seemingly content. Another run up up the at the ledge. And you got to be aware that on Town and City, the super short blast side zones on the side there. Both of them which, side being at the same time in the same direction. <laughs> which I think this is a pretty favorable stage um, for Raph for that reason yeah. because I think a lot of a lot of me brawlers like crazy stuff is killing you off the top. And this has a rather large ceiling. It actually. does indeed. Even though there's lots of high ceilings in the Ooh. stage list, but I, they're in all stage lists at this point. I respect the call out from Mr. Pink, but unfortunately not going to pay off and Raph continuing to just put on a little damage at a time, but this is all extra credit. Oh, he's looking for a little more there. Playing, playing it safe. Yeah, but throwing out is, big commitments. Raph is doing a great I job. Love that cat. Oh, and the up smash was crazy, but the good forward throw from Mr. Pink here to get a bit of an edge guard situation going in that neutral air. Oh, okay, the okay. shot put is definitely enough. That was a close call if Falcon was going to grab ledge there, but yeah, it was smart close. to not leave out. Yo, the suplex suicide right now would be crazy. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. It doesn't work because the uh, me fight, me brawler dies first. Yeah. But, yo, okay, hold on. Mr. Pink cooking something, though. He is racking up this damage. Raph is starting. No tech. That was such a fast <laughs> runoff. I, I love that decision making from Raph. Cause, yeah. I mean, that's risky there. You know, that kind of percent with Falcon. Um, Putting yourself I mean, off stage. And how many times have we seen, like, you know, Falcon gets uh, dinked back off stage, you know, after the up B and you don't have, you don't have your jump anymore. Right. Uh, you know, got to be very selective about that. But that was, that was a good call there. That was a jump scare tech scenario. <laughs> yeah, it really was. <laughs> I, I mean, I wasn't even expecting it as a... a... Yeah. Well, I mean, because he why, had... Why did I just blank on the word I was trying to say? Uh, uh, spectator. Uh oh. Jesus. I was going to say caster, <laughs> commentator. Like spectator, third party. Fan? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a big fan. Big fan of Just Raph right now. 
my mind I mean, just true. completely went blank. You know, no, no words. Came it, it it happens on the mic more than I think any caster would like to admit. Yeah. Like the, there's just a lot that we're processing. I love that air dodge to ledge there. Just kind of reset the situation. Oh, we've got the Smashville counter pick, counter pick, which is interesting because it's kind of the same blast zones on the side of not, the town and city. Not quite, just because um, um, the distance from the ledge to the blast zone is shorter on okay. on town. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but the ceiling here is also a little bit lower, I think. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm, pretty I'm high. gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about when it comes to statements. <laughs> I, uh, dude, I had to like, like sit down and like kind of grind out the homework yeah. one day, like not too long ago, and I was surprised. It was like, oh wow. That Turns middle... out like everything we have has a high ceiling, basically. Yeah. And then you look at Yoshi's and go, oh, well that one doesn't. <laughs> that middle platform though is definitely gonna be really good for um, me brawler kill confirms. Those, yes. Like, Grab into piston punch, uh, landing up air to piston punch, all the early cheese kills off the top. But that upbeat from Th Raph has just consistently been doing a great job. That wasn't even like from the ledge exactly. That was from stage. But with almost max rage, I'm a little surprised that that did kill, but Raph isn't. Oh, good grab. Dude, I love this this patience no. that we're <laughs> seeing from Raph. Oh, uh, he you hates you that. Compliment Rev. You can't but, compliment him. Uh, apparently not. My bad. My the bad, second dude. you compliment a player, they do something like that. Yeah. I mean, you saw in the player cam, he is definitely upset at himself with that. Yeah. I mean, you are at 144, so like, it sucks. It could have but... been worse. Could have been way worse. Ooh, the, Ooh, double, oops. the triple spot dodge? That was crazy. Landing up air. Pink is cooking something. He's got yeah. that ledge trap going. That's that sort of SD situation. Like you're not losing that much, you know, dying at, at 144, but you are if you let it adjust your, yeah, like throw off your mentality and it everything. Moralizes you, which can be hard to not do. But this is scary, and this it's shot put is gonna be huge. Oh, great recovery! Put the trump into the back air immediately from Pink. I think Raph was trying to take a second to like breathe a sigh of relief that he made it back, and Mr. Pink made him pay for it. That was a really, really, really good play. Absolutely. Just covering so much, and all set up by the Ooh, shot put. What a call out with that down air. Oh man, I, I want to say that up would have killed, but we have no rage now, so it's it's tough to tell. There's the okay. pick here, though. Only 23.5%, Raph is still looking good. This is well within the realm of possibility, especially with these side Bs that he's getting. Well, the down okay. is Mr. Pink, though, getting something started. I mean, both of these characters have some of the same, you know... Game plan. Just, yeah, game plan and, and just brawler combos. They just get you in there, and that was a strange interaction. Weird little grab release. Mr. Pink... Mr. Pink's wing con is definitely just holding center stage here and Ooh. is doing a great job of it. Yeah, keeping Raph on his back foot, just constantly keeping him at the ledge, throwing out these shot puts. But Raph has been doing a great job of recovering. Other than that mm -hmm. SD, obviously. Right. Uh, has been doing a really good job of weaving around all of uh, Mr. Pink's off stage yeah. pressure. Another strange grab release situation. <laughs> oh, actually just lands and goes for the F smash. So Mr. Pink taking game two there, we're evened up. That is game number two indeed. Oh. Wait, I got it. Um, one a piece. Yeah, I. I mean, <laughs> it's funny, right? As I was starting to compliment Raph about, uh, you know, just Patience. being willing to to be patient and like, you know, go for these empty hops and not even like landing with Nair or anything, just just not pressing a button and just holding down center stage and everything. And then immediately after that, it's like D -D -D. that the whole game plan kind of kind of unraveling here. Mr. Pink switched to D D D. That is. Okay, I mean, with the pink skin, so that, you know, the tag yeah, adds up okay, yeah, all of a sudden, tracks. but... Yeah, wait, why wasn't he using, like, pink brawler? Surely there's a pink color, no? <laughs> you gotta think so. <laughs> ah, but what do we know? Okay, that was nice uh, using the Gordo to condition shield and go for the grab. This is interesting. I mean, going going here, game three. Yeah. Um, g going to DDD. I mean, it's definitely uh, maybe trying to throw Raph off a little bit because this is a very different character. Yes. A very different playstyle. You're gonna have to work around now. Yeah, it's a matchup check. Yeah. 
There's the Gordo at ledge, just trying to keep him at bay, and that neutral get up into the floor tilt was more than enough. Now, I mean, on paper, you know, if I were in Raph's position, I would, I think I would be thinking, like, good. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I'd rather fight DDD. Um, we are on a pretty big stage here on in, in Kalos that I think will benefit him. Yeah, I mean, of course, DDD with... is going to be living forever on this stage, though. With yeah. How, with how big he is and how big the blast zones are. Yeah, and I mean, it's nice that uh, Falcon does get, get wall jumping. True. And possibly recovering to the side platforms. So, I, you know, I, I like what this does for Falcon's offstage plan. Raph starting to even up percents, but, I mean, not really considering DDD's weight. Ooh. Little DDD. DBZ movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta watch that Gordo. I will say I'm seeing a little less patience from Raph in this last game. I yeah. Mean, it's because he doesn't respect DDD, which, fair. <laughs> uh, but... I'm seeing a lot more just Randy. Okay, fine. If it works, it works. I mean, that, <laughs> yeah, I was just calling out the the jump. Yeah, I like that, honestly. Oh, uh, yeah. I think unfortunately that's basically what DDD wants you to do. Yeah. Um, I think honestly, a get up Ooh. attack. <laughs> caught in a re hit the Gordo. I think a get up attack honestly just to hit the Gordo even there. into DDD's shield like. That, there's shield stun on that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I know get up attack is normally not it, but wow. Okay, grabbing just to have him get hit by the Gordo. That was actually really clean. But 23%? I didn't realize uh, Raptor, or not Raptor Boost, uh, Falcon Dive? Is that what it's called? Uppy. Uppy! Yeah. Does 23 Strong move. Yeah. Honestly. I, I really do like that um, that ledge option from Raph. I mean, because. Absolutely. These uppies are just so good for them. Against some of these ledge trap characters like DDD, to some extent you want to show them that you're not afraid. That they can't just stand there and do it whatever they want. Exactly. Good parry with that. Yeah. I'm curious if we'll see any um any up smashes from Raph in this matchup. Oh gosh, okay, I got the splash hitbox. Well spaced. Very wild call out. Oh, he's looking no, he's for the up tilt. Or not, okay. Raph was smart enough to not match out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just feel like Falcon up smash is so good as an anti-air, right? And so strong, like, it might might kill a DDD at, like, 120, Ooh. 130 something? Great he's call out on the, the, the back air, finding the target even though it was fast moving. Yeah. With that Falcon kick. Those Falcon kicks are what I'm talking about, though. Like, it seems the patience has gone out the window. Or maybe Mr. Pink is now just outpatienting him. I think that's the case here. And, you know, DDD with, with Gordos and everything is well positioned to do that. Yeah. Like that Falcon kick. They're going under Gordo. Good. Up till just catching that neutral getup. And good SDI away there from Mr. Pink, I believe. Not be able to get a follow-up. I'll be again with these massive blast zones from Kalos. Okay. Can't quite like that. The Gordo. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Can you imagine? If you could grab Gordo. <gasps> wow. Okay. That was Mr. Pink was setting up a, a really scary <laughs> kind of trap there. Yeah, definitely. And Raph staying away. Oh, that up is a little stale at this point. Yeah. Been using it. Yeah, 187. I mean, we see the up smash, but not at the right time. Just been calling out that jump in a favorable ledge situation. Raph using the stage as advantage there. Like, see it? Oh, oh my jeez. That's, oh god, that's gonna kill soon. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, DDD hits hard. Oh, you can see him in the player cam. Just a little demorphic. Oh, wow. stayed a long time oh, there. Oh, man. That's an incredible. Yeah, wow. That's rough. Wow. Wow. That's so rough. That. Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> what a way to end the set. That was an incredible setup. Talk about using the stage. I mean, using... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up the ledge.